Manchester United have finally got a football director. John Murto. he's been promoted from within as the club's head of football development, but now he's Manchester United's first ever director of football. But what has John's career path been to date? When did he come to Manchester United? What was he doing beforehand? Why has he been given the job? Does he have the credentials and the experience? What I'm going to do in this video is sort of explain everything about John Murto's career to date. And there's plenty of positives in there. There's no, I suppose, real experience in that role. And I think that's a frustration for a lot of people. But this video is to help you understand exactly why he's been given the role, why he's earned that credit inside Manchester United. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. But here's everything you need to know about John Murto, our new director of football. John's career really started back at Everton, back when David Moyes, I know David Moyes, but David Moyes was manager and he was a sports scientist at Everton. And he was very impressive, so much so that he worked his way up to become their head of performance before leaving there in 2012 to become head of elite performance at the Premier League. So an impressive start to his career. Murto then came to Manchester United in 2013 and he's been at the club for seven years and he's been working behind the scenes in a variety of positions. And John's involvement in the academy, I think, is a very important aspect of all of this because United's academy five years ago was in dire straits. You know, I think Brian McClare left. United never really got another head of academy in for a long time. Managers left. United's players weren't really coming through into the first team. It was in dire straits. With City and all the money they invested in their academy, they were getting the best youngsters and United just weren't getting them. Now, John was involved in the overhaul that has happened over the last five years. And we can see that with the players coming through and with the players that we're signing like Hannibal Medjbury, we've got him from Monaco. And then you could look at Shota Shortire coming through right now. United's academy over the last five years, just the, the caliber of players that we're getting now is far improved. There's a clearer path between the under 23s and the first team. And as I said, John's involvement in that behind the scenes is what has earned him a lot of credit inside Manchester United. That's a big reason why he's been so respected. And he's done very well in that sense. And after the appointment was made, Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic offered some real insight into the sort of the personality of Murto behind the scenes. And this is, this is, I suppose, where we can start to understand what sort of football director he's going to be. If we look here, Laurie's describing how Murto sort of had a very close relationship with Woodward, which might scare a lot of people, but in terms of the powers that be at United, if you get Woodward on your side, then that's a smart move. But he saw that Woodward was struggling in what he was doing and helped. He was considered the fixer of Old Trafford. And that is, there's plenty of other examples that Laurie gives. It's also there, it goes into more detail about how Murto was involved heavily in signing Hannibal Medjbury and also goes into detail about how he has that sort of same dedication to the women's team. So in terms of respect, clearly John Murto has got a lot of respect internally at, at every level at United. And that's what you need in a football director because the big question that a lot of people have about John Murto's role is whether or not he's gonna A, be empowered, B, be respected. You know, will people listen to what he says? Will people follow his instructions? That's gonna be down to how he manages people, uh, but he wouldn't have been given this position if United did not trust that he could do that. And that is a really important aspect to focus on because he doesn't have the direct experience in the role. If we look at best in class appointments, Murto doesn't really tick any of those boxes whatsoever. But United have decided to promote from within. We've got Darren Fletcher in as well as a technical director. He'll sort of work between the academy and the first team and sort of bridge that gap and also work directly with John. But we've got Carrick, we've got Solskjaer, we've got Butt. There's, there's plenty of ex-players in and around United. And I don't necessarily think that's a terribly bad thing. I, th I think it's a good thing, in fact, as long as you don't just make it an all-boys club. An old boys club, not an old boys club. But in terms of the role itself with Murto, what does that mean? What will change and what will he be focusing on? John's role will really focus on player recruitment and sort of helping Solskjaer where necessary in terms of operational support. So instead of it being Solskjaer speaking directly with Woodward, he's going to go to Murto instead. And he's a football man. As I said, seven years he's been at Manchester United. So his career went from being a sports scientist to head of performance at Everton to head of elite performance at the Premier League and then he came to Manchester United with Moyes in 2013 and he's worked his way through the ranks. Seven years at United and moving up from the head of football development, he's seen the problems, he's helped 
completely restructure the academy in it. In terms of, of a success story at United in the last five years, the overhaul of the academy has probably been the biggest success story that we've had. Not much is said about it because not much is really... It, you can see it in terms of the players that are coming through, the, the levels of the performances that are going with the under-18s and the under-23s, but from where we were to where we are now, we're starting to bring in some of the world's best youngsters again. And we had lost that ability, but that changed because of the work that John had done with Nicky Butt and the whole academy system. So that's the thing I'm really going to focus on, I suppose, and that's the thing I have been focusing on this video. That should hopefully help you understand a little bit about why John Murto was given the role and why it wasn't given to an external candidate. Was that a simple... If United wanted to get best in class, we've said it along, we've all said it together. We could have gone out and got it. We had the money. We were Manchester United. They would have come, but we didn't. And I think that was because Woodward didn't want to relinquish power, which is which is a lot of a lot of you have that fear that this appointment is nothing more than lip service, that it's not going to change anything. But for me, the immediate change is that Matt Judge now now his boss, his direct boss, is John Murto, not Ed Woodward. If Solskjaer wants to speak to somebody about football operations, he doesn't go to Woodward anymore. He goes to Murto. Woodward is cut out of the of the big decision he's got the ultimate power of decision but in terms of the the, not the shaping of that decision and, and the decision that comes to his feet he's not involved in that anymore and that's a huge step and i hope that john can bring the same sort of transformative success to united's first team and the recruitment that it has been good but it still needs to be better matt judge he needs mentoring because he shouldn't still be in that job but he is but at least he's got a different direct boss that's what I think anyway. But let me know what your reaction is to the John Murto appointment. Hopefully this video has helped you understand sort of where he's come from, his, his career path to date, what he's done at Manchester United, why, where and why, sorry, he's earned that respect inside United and why United were prepared enough to make him the man that became our inaugural director of football. But at least we've got one. Absolutely happy days we've got one. And I'm going to hold my judgment on John Murto because... I'm impressed with what he's done with the academy and I'm seeing the positives here where some people are seeing the negatives but United have got a football director that's a huge positive in itself let's see if he can make the changes that we all want him to do but make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel and I hope this helped you understand the whole thing a little bit more if you want me to do one on Darren Fletcher let me know in the comments below maybe I'll explain the sort of technical director role and, and what that entails I'm also going to be doing a video next week on the actual full new club structure. Where does Woodward sit now? Where does Judge sit? Where does Solskjaer, Murto, Buck, Fletcher, everything. I'll explain all of that in a video next week, which will be very good actually. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. Until next time, take it easy.